Good evening. The future of a historic theater in Kendallville is in jeopardy. It may have to close its doors. It's all because of new technology in the movie industry. News Channel 15's Aaron Rodgers went to visit the Strand Theater and talked with a group that's trying hard to save it. Mark and Heather, Diane Peachy says the building is a 123-year-old piece of history, and it would be tragic if the community lost it. In 1890, the Strand opened its doors as an opera house. 20 years later, it started showing movies with a side of popcorn and has been for the past 104 years. It's one of the oldest continually operating theaters in the United States. It's the only small theater in Noble County. Everyone who's lived in this town for any length of time always went to the Saturday matinees at the Strand. But now the owner of the Strand has to turn his theater digital to the tune of $110,000. That buys the two projectors, it's a twin theater, and also they're a little more expensive because we have a balcony. A group called Keep the Lights On was told theaters will no longer be able to run on film after January, which means they need to raise the money for digital projectors in the next few months. Like, it's a wonderful life when he comes back into town and the town is dead. When the marquee is down, the town is dead. It uh, doesn't bring people to the main street in the evening. So they've started fundraising. The first event kicks off tomorrow with movie deals, a box of milk duds with a $5 donation, and a raffle to win a bike. They say they're pulling out all the stops to keep the strand rolling. So much history gone would be just uh, too bad. And their next fundraiser will be the first week of November, and then they have a 5K on November 23rd. For more information on how you can help, check out this story on Wayne.com. Heather.